Hi, I'm a professor at Westminster College in Salt Lake City. I've taught a few classes with Cale Weston when he was a writer in residence at Westminster in the academic year 2018-2019. As an immigrant, I like to focus my teaching a lot on diversity issues, diversity of voices, diversity of points of view, diversity of cultures, and I can honestly say that I couldn't have asked for a better person to teach with than Kel. I think because of his work with the State Department in Iraq and in Afghanistan, and, and generally just as a human being, Kel is a person with a lot of empathy. He's a very good listener, and he has this genuine curiosity about people's lives. Um, I remember we used to have this video chat with people in Afghanistan over Skype. And what struck me was just the, the level of comfort these people felt around Kale and the ease with which they would open up to Kale, despite the language barriers, despite the cultural barriers, despite the technological barriers. And it got me thinking, if Kale could do that with people from halfway across the world, imagine how great he would be with people right here in Utah. Um, he's a great listener. He likes to probe and question, but he's also really good at offering his own opinions in a way that's firm and resolute and calm. The other thing about that class was it was focused on war stories, so we read a lot of war narratives from around the world. And Kale always liked to say that wars were not just fought on the battlefield, but they were fought in families, they were fought inside people's homes, they were fought in communities. And he was really fascinated by the concept of the just war or the ethics of war. And we used to talk about how valor is not just about bluster, but about moral courage. Um, and Kale did a really good job in inspiring those kinds of discussions among the students and myself. Um, and we, we really build this really strong sense of community in the classroom. And for all of those reasons, I feel like Kale would be a really great leader in Utah. And I wholeheartedly support his congressional run for Utah's second district. Thank you very much.